Hantavirus Hemorrhagic Fever with Renal Syndrome, Wikipedia Audio Asama Virus, Go Virus, Hanton River Virus, Dobrava Belgrade Virus, Sarama Virus, Sol Virus, Pumala Virus, Sarang Virus, Thailand Virus, Thotopalayam Virus, Nova Virus Hantavirus hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome is a group of clinically similar illnesses caused by species of hantaviruses from the family Hantaviridae, in the order Bunyavirals. It is also known as Korean hemorrhagic fever, epidemic hemorrhagic fever, and nephropathies epidemica. The species that cause HFRS include Hanton River virus, Dobrava Belgrade, Sarama, Sol, Pumala and other hantaviruses. It is found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Of these species, Hanton River virus and Dobrava Belgrade virus cause the most severe form of the syndrome and have the highest morbidity rates. Both hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome and hantavirus pulmonary syndrome appear to be immunopathologic and inflammatory mediators are important in causing the clinical manifestations. Signs and Symptoms Symptoms of HFRS usually develop within one to two weeks after exposure to infectious material, but in rare cases, they may take up to eight weeks to develop. Initial symptoms begin suddenly and include intense headaches, back and abdominal pain, fever, chills, nausea, and blurred vision. Individuals may have flushing of the face, inflammation, or redness of the eyes, or a rash. Later symptoms can include low blood pressure, acute shock, vascular leakage, and acute kidney failure, which can cause severe fluid overload. The severity of the disease varies depending upon the virus causing the infection. Hanton and Dobrava virus infections usually cause severe symptoms, while Sol, Sarama, and Pumala virus infections are usually more moderate. Complete recovery can take weeks or months. The course of the illness can be split into five phases. This syndrome can also be fatal. In some cases, it has been known to cause permanent renal failure. Transmission by aerosolized rodent excreta still remains the only known way the virus is transmitted to humans. In general, droplet and slash or fomite transfer has not been shown in the hantaviruses in either the pulmonary or hemorrhagic forms. HFRS is difficult to diagnose on clinical grounds alone and serological evidence is often needed. A fourfold rise in IgG antibody titer in a one week interval, and the presence of the IgM type of antibodies against hantaviruses are good evidence for an acute hantavirus infection. HFRS should be suspected in patients with acute febrile flu like illness, kidney failure of unknown origin, and sometimes liver dysfunction. There is no cure or vaccine for HFRS. Treatment involves supportive therapy including renal dialysis. Treatment with rebavirin in China and Korea, administered within seven days of onset of fever, resulted in a reduced mortality as well as shortened course of illness. Rodent control in and around the home remains the primary prevention strategy, as well as eliminating contact with rodents in the workplace and campsite. Closed storage sheds and cabins are often ideal sites for rodent infestations. Airing out of such spaces prior to use is recommended. Avoid direct contact with rodent droppings and wear a mask to avoid inhalation of aerosolized rodent secretions. HFRS is primarily a Eurasian disease, whereas HPS appears to be confined to the Americas. The geography is directly related to the indigenous rodent hosts and the viruses that co-evolved with them. Transmission 
Diagnosis Treatment Prevention Epidemiology <laughs>